another good score. But the next dish up is Danny's. He's doing smoked eel on apple and beetroot crisps with jelly and horseradish creme fraiche. Prue advised Danny to provide cutlery. So has he changed his mind? No, I'm not going to change anything. She knows your onions, you know, and that's, that's to say what it is, you know, but, you know, I'm not, I just don't want to impress her. It's the nation I want to impress as well. Why do you want people to eat it with the fingers? What's the, just to have that connection with the food yeah. or? Yeah, well, just because it invokes childhood memories, yeah. you know, about, and there's something about that, and it just, the whole senses start going, and you get the, the sourness from the horseradish creme fraiche and the richness from the eel. You had a good childhood. You know? No, it didn't. Oh, in North Belfast. You know, I dare my Anderson. childhood was like, you know, no. In Skegness, we didn't eat beetroot and no, beetroot beetroot jelly and smoked jelly. eels, that's no. for sure. Yeah, we got a bag of crisps, a can yeah. of pop and a thick ear, like, that's all we got. They both come from tough backgrounds then. But Danny has asked Jason what he thinks, since he serves a lot of tapas and finger food in his restaurant. And you got your fingers, picked up your tartar, whisked it through the thing, and then ate that with your fingers and washed your hands. You're in. It's great. I love that interaction with the food. Yeah, it was just a finger bowl, but... Yeah, finger bowl, maybe a napkin, mm. you know. Bit of advice for you. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You might like that. <laughs> no, I like it. Hey. You know, I got to Well, at least he wouldn't be ignoring Prue then. And as Danny plates up his eel on apple and beetroot crisps topped with jelly, Stephen gets involved too. So what's Prue? What's, she's going on about the jelly then? She's got a problem with the jelly. So. Yeah, don't know, Prue's Sorry, did I <laughs> didn't mean to say that. She said the word. She, that's yes. acceptable. You can't yes. say bosom. Is that OK? It is an original fish course and quite different to his rival's dishes. Tom Kitchen's wandered over for a look at it now. Danny, wow. Well, what's your thoughts? Looking great, yeah? It's very visually attractive, isn't it? Is this a little finger bowl to go on the side? Yeah. That's, that's cute. Because Prue loves eating with her fingers, apparently. No, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's mad for it. Well, Stephen may be being ironic, but he knows that Danny's dish may provide stiff competition. The style of food today, I suppose, yesterday, could be two different chefs. Yeah, it's... It's um, quite classical almost yesterday, whereas yeah. today's very sort of like... Well, you know, I think this is very classical dish. The, you know, the, 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 the combination of flavours, yeah, but the presentation is far from classical. It's very cut and edge. Danny's completing his presentation with a few shiso leaves, which are sometimes called Japanese basil, and he's taking a lot of care with them. To get through, Danny, do you think you'll be able to pull off 50 of those? Easily. And I'll be doing it on my own, that's for sure. <laughs> but he's unlikely to face that problem unless he gets past our three judges first. The lads, these are like my wee babies, you know what I mean? So you look after them well. One at a time, lads, very delicate. And I have water on the plate and I won't be happy. And as you can see, he's quite a big man. Yeah. He is a big man. And he's taking a big gamble by sticking to his guns about the cutlery. There's still no forks, so he's absolutely sure that they're not that the jelly is not going to leak into the beetroot and make the beetroot run. He's absolutely sure that that these are going to stay crisp, which they're not. It's soggy. And what he's done is it's given you four little mouthfuls, mm. which are fresh and beautiful and elegant. And I think that's really pretty. My my, I'm just trying to clarify in my mind. A forlorn hope. Absolutely, uh, but you know, one one has to try. It's just. The canopy feeling here still for me. 